Now, it says repeat here, and I'm not going to go back up and repeat any of the steps we, that I did. Uh, we did look around at different steps as we went. Remember, for example, at one point we realized that the solution should be a set of pairings, not a list of pairings, that kind of thing. So we've been bouncing back and forth. Uh, and certainly we spent a lot of time looking at our small and trivial instances while we were doing other parts of the problem. Um, but I'm going to give you something to repeat if you're looking for another problem to solve. Uh, our solution with the reduction is nice uh, as long as there are, you know, on the order of as many women as there are men, maybe half as many women as men or something like that. Um, it's pretty much as efficient as we can get, as efficient as, as reading in the solution, basically. Um, I haven't specified exactly how we transform the USMP problem to an SMP problem, so we have to make sure to do that efficiently. We have to efficiently transform the SMP solution back to a USMP solution. All of that would be good stuff to work on, so if you want to do that, do that. Uh, but I'm going to give you a different challenge. Can you now go in and directly modify Gail Shapley to directly produce USMP solutions? You've already got an algorithm you know works. Maybe you can modify Gale Shapley to produce an algorithm that works directly on USMP instances and takes time proportional to the number of men times the number of women, which is the lower bound that we found. If you can do that, then you've got an optimal solution. So give that a shot. Maybe also try out making the algorithms we would use in the reduction more explicit.